Today I'm going to show you how to create advanced custom fields with ACF on a WordPress website powered by Elementor. The default fields on WordPress, as you may know, include the title, the body, which you can fill out using Gutenberg, the featured image, which you will find in the sidebar right here, also uh, the main taxonomies, the categories, and the tax. If you want to have extra fields, for instance, to create an info sheet for a product, you will need to create custom fields. ACF, which stands for Advanced Custom Fields, is a free plugin which enables you to add custom fields to any post, custom post, or a page on your website. You don't need to have custom posts to create custom fields. Custom fields can be added to traditional posts or pages. But for the sake of this demo, I will create a, a bunch of custom fields which I will assign to a custom post called Food Items, uh, which we created for Rachel Futsaro's brand new website. Here is a Google Sheet uh, where you can see um, multiple rows and multiple columns. Each row is an entry and uh, each, uh, each column will be a custom, a custom field. As you can see, we have a mix of text fields, uh, image fields, but uh, with the image reference as a URL and also uh, link fields like uh, the shop link or the video link. Just a little detail worth mentioning at this stage. In this list, we have two columns, pros and cons, as you can see, which include multiple values separated by commas, less than three, than 2% carbs, zero synthetics, uh, family owned, etc. As you can see, there are multiple values in each cell uh, separated by commas. And the easiest way to import those values is to create what we call a repeater field, which can have as many rows as values in the cell, not specifically a set number of values. One product, for instance, can have three pros, another product can have five pros, etc. In order to create uh, repeater fields, you will need to upgrade to uh, ACF uh, Pro. It's not very expensive, it's $49 per year for a, a single uh, website, but you will need ACF Pro uh, to have this repeater field uh, feature. You could, of course, just display the values uh, as a text uh, string on the page in, in, a single, uh, in a single cell, but it wouldn't be as nice as presenting them in a table. As you can see here on this page, we have the pros here and we have the counts there in a nice table. And each of those values is in uh, one field of what we call a repeater field. To create your custom fields, uh, you will simply have to uh, open the field groups uh, section in the ACF plugin, which you can find after installing uh, the plugin in the, in the sidebar of your WordPress site. And as you can see, I have already created 17 fields for a field group called uh, called uh, dog food, I, I think, yes, dog food. So I have 17 fields uh, right here. So let's have a look at the fields. So we have a product name, uh, that's a text. Then we have one of the two repeater fields, pros and here cons. So if I expand this, you will see that I have a field called pro and I can have multiple, uh, multiple values, multiple rows for this uh, field called pro. I have the same for cons, so cons here with a con uh, feature and I can have multiple ones. I can have three, I can have five, I can have six, I can have as many as I want. Brand logo, food packaging image, food in a bowl image, etc. It's um, uh, those are images as you can as you can see. So it's another type of uh, of field. Field type equals image. And then if we go down, we have other text fields. And we have two uh, URL fields, the shop link to the uh, affiliate shop and the video link, uh, which is a, a video from YouTube when there is a video, that's also uh, a URL. Now, if you scroll down, you will see the settings. Uh, you have the location rules, so that's where you can assign um, the field group to a, a specific post type. So you could do, um, 
this for a post, for a traditional post, a page, but we have assigned this uh, field group to a custom post called food item, as you can see. And if I switch to presentation, uh, there I can set uh, the way I want this to appear uh, on the user interface. So the style is here, standard WP meta box. I want this to be just after the title uh, with the, the labels placed on the left-hand side of the fields. And here on the right hand side, you can define what you want to hide on the screen. So I usually untick uh, permalink, which is the, the, the full URL, the slug and the featured image. So now let's have a look at uh, how this is presented uh, in uh, the admin for one of those uh, custom posts. So we have here one of the food items called open farm. And as you can see, we have multiple um, uh, multiple rows for the pros here we have also the product name we have uh, a few images as you can see a short description a long description the protein and carbs uh, that's uh, text fields a recipe the price also a shop link uh, a discount code another image which is an icon uh, for the product and a video link and of course I filled out the data the metadata for the Yoast SEO plugin and on the right hand side you can see the featured image right there and we also have uh, two custom taxonomies brands and food types you might have seen them in my Google sheet here in green brand and um, and food types this is it so one last thing that I wanted to show you is how to import uh, the data from the Google Sheet into the WordPress database using WP All Import. You could connect this uh, Google Sheet directly to the plugin, but I usually export a CSV, which I can then import into the site. Uh, bear in mind that you will need the ACF add-on for WP All Import to import your uh, advanced custom fields uh, into the database. As you saw in the beginning, I have already imported four products, but for the sake of this, of this demo, let's pretend that uh, we would start uh, from scratch. So first, what we need to do is um, go to uh, the WP All Import section in the sidebar and click on New Import. Then you just upload a file and we will choose the food CSV right here. And then we will decide to which type of post we want to assign uh, this data. So this will be for uh, the food items. Then we continue to step two. And you have here a preview of the content of your uh, CSV, just uh, as you can see, four rows which were populated in the exported file. And then we continue to step three. And here comes the fun part. You have to basically assign the, um, the, the different pieces of data from uh, your file on the right hand side to the fields on the left hand side. The way you do this, you just double click on the name and then you click in the field. So I do it again, double click on the name, click in the field. You don't have to fill out anything for the body here. For the images, uh, because we have already uploaded the images um, in advance, we just say that the images are already in the library. But if it was the first import, we would just download them from elsewhere. But they are already in the library. So we have to assign the, the location here. So for instance, for the featured image, I go to featured image, I double click there, and then I click there. Then I have my Yoast, uh, my Yoast option. So my focus keyword will be uh, the name of my product. Uh, sorry, not the name of the brand, the name of the product. <clears throat> I have to click in the right position. So let's do it again. Oops, sometimes you've gotta be, do it twice, yeah. That's it. So product title name, then I can just um, copy paste it for the SEO title. Uh, for um, for uh, the meta description, I just paste it. Um, and I was just say, check out all the details about this uh, great product for docs, like this, for instance. Um, then I can go to my advanced custom fields and I have to tick here dog food. So I will grab the product name again. 
And here for the repeat field, what we need to do is to tell um, uh, the engine that uh, it's coming from uh, a CSV. And here you see the field. So we have to say that uh, it's comma separated. So I just uh, put a comma there. And then theoretically, I have to do the same. So I have to double click on pros and click here. But as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. There's some uh, bug probably in the field. So I would just double click on pros, click uh, click somewhere else. So double click there, click there. And I would just cut it and paste it in pros like this. And so basically it will uh, import all of the values separated by commas and create different rows, different fields for this repeater field. We do the same for the cons. So that's the same concept. So also here uh, a comma and the same issue I know already. So I would just put it there and paste it here. Brand logos, it's, so it's also in the database. So I just go there and pick the brand logo. Food packaging also in the database. Uh, that's here. Uh, food in a bowl image, same here. And featured image, we edit earlier also here. The short description, that's easy. Short description, long description. Protein, uh, protein, it's here protein, carbs, recipes, price, shop link, that's a URL, discount code here, icon also in the library, icon and video link, video link. There we go. And then we have two taxonomies, brands. So just one brand, which comes from here and food type just one food type which comes from type here we don't have anything else here so we just give a, a name to uh, the template so doc food item and then we move to step four and in step four we just click on auto detect to give it a unique identifier so that uh, the system knows that each of those rows, each of those entries will be a, a unique uh, entry. And uh, we just click on continue. And then if we click on confirm and run import, it will import uh, the four items. But I already have the four items in my database, so I won't do it twice. So when everything has been imported into uh, the database, you just check that you have all the fields so you can edit uh, the element and just check that everything is there if of course there is something in the field so for instance here we didn't have uh, some of the fields I think but most of them and then the last thing you have to do is uh, create the template to show all of that in the front end because by default uh, you won't see anything in the front end if you don't create a dedicated template to show the content of all those fields so this is, for instance, um, one of the entries, one of the items after creating the template. Um, so the product is called Open Farm. I will show you the structure of the template. So if I click there, I can see my template uh, that I can edit with Elementor. So I will open the template and you will understand the concept. The, uh, I would say only little sophisticated detail is about the um, is about the pros and cons, uh, the repeater field, but for the rest it's pretty straightforward. So uh, we have here uh, at the top, as you can see, the post title. It's a dynamic uh, piece of data. Um, we have uh, here three different uh, fields uh, with uh, the taxonomies and the icon. So as you can see here, it's a taxonomy, which is the brand. Here it's another taxonomy, which is the food type. And here we have the icon. Just let me show you for the icon how it was before I uh, connected the dynamic data. So I just added a picture. And then you need to go to the little silo here, the silo icon for the dynamic tags, and pick ACF image field. And you will see here uh, it was uh, yeah, the icon, as you can see. And I've just set the icon to be maximum uh, 75 pixels 
uh, white. And so it goes like this for uh, all the other fields. So you just assign uh, the dynamic fields from, uh, from the database. Um, just make sure before you do that to go to the little Cox icon here at the bottom the settings and to set the preview settings to one of your uh, custom posts so that you can see the data being populated in real time when you connect uh, the dynamic uh, fields from uh, from the database as you can see here we have um, what is called an acf repeater module from a plugin that uh, we are using for the purposes called uh, dynamic uh, triple uh, O uh, and here it's a little bit more complex you have to uh, choose the repeater field pros and then you have here to pick the right uh, subfield which is in this case pro so just pick pro here and it will uh, just display uh, in um, on three different lines in a nice table uh, the three features same for the cons here so here we have cons and we have the subfield called con and it will also display the items there you can see here that i have uh, the logo of the brand the long description and all the other images so that's my page and you might have noticed here two hidden sections so those sections uh, I'm using them uh, to display uh, to display here, uh, especially in the second one, I think, yes, um, a sign up button if you are not logged in to uh, the community of Rachel. So you need to be logged in. It's, it's a free membership but to see uh, to see this item. And here, uh, this section will display the login form if you are not logged in. So if I go to an incognito window, as you can see here, I have here my, um, th that's my index page. <clears throat> but if I go to the same, uh, let's go to the same uh, product, so the open farm. So I will open here, open farm. And as you can see, it's gated. <clears throat> so I don't have access to uh, the data but I have a login form and I have my sign up button and this login form and the sign up button were assigned in the template there so here at this position it's the login form and here it's the sign up button that's a little detail but it's because this is a membership website where those items are only accessible to uh, logged in uh, members and I have another page which is the index page for those uh, food items, where I have a search, uh, a search engine, faceted search by Search and Filter Pro. I have here uh, all uh, my products displayed, the four products. And as you can see, I have two sections which are grayed out. One of them here is the search engine for uh, mobile, and here it's uh, the list connected to the search engine for mobile. So. We have the one for desktop and tablet here at the top and the one which is grayed out on desktop for mobile uh, here um, under uh, the desktop one. That just, that's just a detail. And this page is also gated. So if I go to uh, here food, I have the same. So I have just the title and the introduction and then a login uh, and a sign up uh, and a sign up button. So that's all uh, for today. I have uh, shown you how to create advanced uh, custom fields, also how to import the data into your WordPress website uh, using WP All Import. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for other tips on how to set up your WordPress website. Please also remember that I have a full series on this channel on how we created uh, Rachel Futsaro's brand new WordPress website. You can start uh, watching the series by clicking on the thumbnail at the end of this video. Thanks for your attention. See you soon for another tip.